How can you get a rough indication of RF output power if you don't have an RF power meter? Keep watching and find out. Only two items are needed. Some form of connector into the antenna socket for your transceiver and a resistor, 47 ohm. This is only a small resistor rated at a quarter watt. If you've got a one or two watt resistor and you want to get an indication of higher levels of power, then that might be more suitable. I've set the FT817 up for FM, but you can use a constant carrier mode like CW. And I'll now just plug in our dummy load. This is basically what it is. It's a 50 ohm dummy load. If your resistor is a little bit different in value, like maybe 39 ohm or 68, then it should still be roughly okay. After all, this is only very, very approximate. I've set the FT817 up to its lowest output power setting. That is 500 milliwatts. I'll now touch the resistor with one hand, press the PTT with the other, and see how warm it gets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Now that was thirty seconds buttoned down and it was very nearly untouchably hot after 30 seconds. So I was applying double the rated power of the resistor, one half watt versus a quarter watt. Anyway, two bars showing, which should be about one watt. And we'll see how many seconds I have to count for it to become untouchably hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that was after only seven seconds. Now, it's possible the starting temperature for the resistor will be a bit higher than when I started it with, so I should probably have allowed a bit more time. But anyway, seven seconds, it was dramatically shorter than the 30 seconds we had before. Now, we're on two and a half watts. Button down. One, two, three. Well, in less than three seconds, it was way too hot. If we look at the resistor, there's still no visible damage of it. That's with two and a half watts. However, if I was to have kept the power applied for much more than three seconds, then you'd almost certainly start to get some smoke and maybe even more. Anyway, just for fun, we'll go up to five watts. Well, with five watts, that was pretty much instantaneous. Maybe half a second, if not less. I certainly couldn't have touched the resistor anything longer than that. Because this is science, it's highly appropriate that this be put on a graph. I've got the power output across the bottom, a linear scale, 0 to 5 watts. And up here on the y-axis, I've got the time, that is seconds until unbearably hot. This is a non-linear scale, so up here near the top was 30 seconds, which is what I got with the half watt. And down here, 10 seconds, 3 seconds, 1 second, and down here, a fraction of a second. So as you can see the curve, more power, the far less time you can hold it before you've got to let go. Otherwise, you get a severe burn. And of course, at the rated value of the resistor, in this case, a quarter of a watt, you'd expect to be able to hold on to it for a long, long time, if not forever. And so this line would tend towards infinity down at, uh, at the very low power levels. I don't have a one watt resistor, but being four times the resistor rating, I would expect that up here with 20 watts, four times the power, then that's at the same point where you would only be able to hold on to it for less than a second. 
So now we have a way of estimating the output power of a QRP transmitter. The last test was on 7 MHz. What about VHF? Here we've got a bow thing on 2 meters. It's on its low power position. So we'll just transmit and see how long I can hold on to the resistor for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's about 10 seconds and I'm on the low power position. Just reading across from 10 seconds, it's about one to one to half watts, which is what you'd expect, low power from a bell thing. I'll just now go to the full five watt output and I'm gonna expect some pain here. Uh, yeah, well, well that wasn't long at all. It was less than a second, I think, and, and it got hot very, very quickly. So that's definitely putting out five watts near enough. Now, glad that I'm not using one of these super, super bell things that put out hundreds of watts. Then I think we'd have a great fire and we'd burn the house down. Good thing I'm just using an ordinary bell thing with no special claims on its box.